Okay, let's talk about z-scores. Okay, z-scores are also known as standard scores. What I want to do is I want to compare individuals from two different populations. So for example, I can ask the question, who is relatively taller, Shaquille O'Neal or President Lyndon B. Johnson, and I'll just abbreviate his name LBJ. Okay. Now the question is, who is relatively taller. Okay. I want to know was Shaquille O'Neal or is Shaquille O'Neal a taller baseball player or is President Johnson a taller president? Okay. I'm comparing Shaquille O'Neal to all other ba basketball players and LBJ to all other uh, presidents. Okay. Now we know that presidents heights are normally distributed with a mean of 71.5 and a standard deviation of 2.1 okay so this notation here the n means normal the first number is the mean and the second number is the standard deviation okay so that's the uh, that standard notation that we're going to use from here on out okay And basketball players, I'll abbreviate b ball players, heights, they are normally distributed with a mean of 80 inches and a standard deviation of 3.3 inches. Again, the first number is the mean and the second number is the standard deviation. Okay. We know that Shaquille O'Neal is 85 inches tall and LBJ was 75 inches tall okay and to compare the two see they're in two different categories I gotta bring them to the same field okay bring them to the same level so for that I have to compute their z-scores okay or their standard scores The formula for Z is the observation minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Or in notation you can write it as X minus the mean mu divided by the standard deviation sigma. Okay. And what are the units for Z scores or units for standard scores? The units are standard deviations. Okay. So so a z score of 1.5 tells you that this is 1.5 that the x value or the observation is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean okay whatever the mean happens to be similarly a z score of 2 or negative 2 rather 2 is 2 standard deviations below the mean okay for whatever mean you're working with so when we do, uh, when we compute z-scores, what we're doing is we're bringing everybody to the same distribution. 
we're bringing everybody to what's called the standard normal distribution. Okay, so the standard normal distribution um, is normal with mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, so let me give you an example here. Let's suppose basketball players, their distribution looks something like this. Okay, so they have a mean of 80, so 80 is going to be in the center. Okay. Uh, presidents, maybe their distribution looks something like this. And their mean is 71.5. So that's why their distribution is a little bit more to the left. And I want to bring everybody to the same scale. Okay. So we're going to bring everybody to the standard normal distribution which has a mean of zero, let's say our zero is here, and a standard deviation of one. Now the standard deviation just tells you the shape of the curve, okay? So like this, that's a standard deviation of one. Whereas these guys had different uh, standard deviations. So once I bring everybody to the same scale, then I can compare them. It's like comparing apples to apples, right? Here I have apples and oranges, and now I have apples to apples, I can compare them bring them to the same scale. Let's calculate the z-scores for um, both. So let's do President Lyndon B. Johnson first, okay? His z-score. Now you're going to take his observation minus the mean for presidents divided by the standard deviation for presidents, okay? So we're going to take 75 minus 71.5 divided by the standard deviation for presidents, <clears throat> 2.1. And if you work that out, that gives you 1.67 standard deviations, okay? Shaquille O'Neal, he is 85 inches tall. And what is the mean for basketball players? 80. What is the standard deviation for basketball players? 3.3. .3. So minus 80 divided by 3.3. .3, and you get 1.52 standard deviations. Okay. So LBJ is 1.67 standard deviations above the mean of presidents. Shaq is 1.52 standard deviations above the mean of... Um, B basketball players okay but now they they both have a standard score these are their standard scores so on the standard normal distribution remember the standard normal distribution has a mean of zero okay LBJ is here okay and Shaquille O'Neal is whoops maybe he's not that far off he's 1.52 he is there Okay, so now you can see who is taller. Um, President Johnson is relatively taller. Okay, so we can say, I'll keep that black ink, compared to his colleagues, LBJ is taller. Okay. So this means that LBJ is a taller president than Shaquille O'Neal as a basketball player. Okay. Now you can do, um, now to calculate these numbers here, I just punched them into the calculator. Okay. If you have a list of numbers and you want to calculate the z-score for that list, you don't have to do them one by one. You can do them all at the same time. Okay. So let's suppose I have this data in my calculator. Okay. And let me calculate the mean and standard deviation for this data set. So we go to stat, calc, one variable statistics on L1. Whoops. Definitely put a one there. And the mean is 12.4. The standard deviation is uh, 7. 
uh, let's say this is a population. So the standard deviation is going to be 7.2. Okay. So let me just write that down. 12.4. Oops, I'm sorry. That's the mean and the standard deviation is 7.2, was it? Yeah. Okay. Now, go back to the list. And go over to L2. You have to put your cursor on L2. Okay. And then you can do L1 minus uh, 12.4 divided by 7.2. Okay, and if you hit enter, now make sure that your cursor is on the words L2, okay? And if you hit enter, then it'll populate that list, and these are the uh, z-scores. So 2 uh, is negative 1.4 standard deviations below the mean. This is negative 1.3 standard deviations below the mean. Okay, this is 0.083 standard deviations above the mean, and so on. So I hope that uh, gives you some good information on how to compute Z-scores. Okay.